All right, thanks, guys. A very interesting pick here for the Eagles at the back end of round five. Nate Jerry, who was a safety at Nebraska, making the transition to linebacker in Jim Schwartz's scheme. It's going to be very interesting. Greg, when a player makes that transition from safety to linebacker in today's game, what does that say about the way that the NFL is transitioning in terms of the passing league? Well, the reason that Nate Jerry will make this transition is because there's an obvious concern with his ability to play man-to-man -man coverage against really good tight ends and to play on the back end in zone. So when you watch Jerry anyway, you see a player that's very good playing downhill. That's the strength of his game. He's not at his best as a deep safety, whether it would be single high or two shell. That's not his game. He's better much closer to the line of scrimmage. Now, I believe he weighed 218 at the combine. Correct. My guess is you probably can get him up to 225, maybe 230, and now he becomes a linebacker where he can play to what his strength is as a player. Yeah, really, really physical against the run. Yep. He's got that ability to be very decisive. I thought he was one of the most impressive tacklers at the safety position in this class, and here he is here in the senior bowl. And how quickly he sees, you know what, this is the alley the running back's yep. going to take. I have to insert myself into this gap and be present for the ball carrier. And that's really what his game is. And, and I think when you, when you look at him, you say to yourself, yeah, it's funny. There have been some guys who've made this transition. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that he's the next Thomas Davis. But Thomas Davis was a safety at Georgia, transitioned to linebacker, obviously has had a great career with the Carolina Panthers. So this kind of transition has been made because ultimately you're looking at what a player's traits and his overall skill set is. When you look at Jerry, you say, hey, you know what? He's a much better player closer to the line of scrimmage. And in today's NFL, it's very hard for a safety only to play close to the line of scrimmage because of the pass game element. Yeah, and then you factor in what Jim Schwartz asks his linebackers right. to do. And again, this is a one-gap scheme. What does one gap mean? Well, as a player, any player on defense, you are responsible for one gap, one area between two blockers. And you see right here, we want to watch Nigel, Nigel Bradham. Bradham. And watch how quickly he sees, okay, there's a gap here that's taken up. Right. Here's this gap that's taken up. All these other gaps. This is Nigel Bradham's gap, and, and as soon as he sees it, he hits it. And notice how he hits it. This is not lateral movement. We're not reading and reacting. We're hitting it. And perfect example right here of how linebackers in Jim Schwartz's system want to play. He's able to beat the block. They're trying to combo block and get one of the offensive linemen up to him but because of this system and the way it's played attacking downhill hitting the gap he's able to beat that offensive lineman block now one of the things i liked about nate jerry while he wasn't a great athlete i thought he was really instinctive really aware on the back end in coverage especially in zone coverage and that's something that jim schwartz asks his linebackers right, to do. Right. they have to be very aware in zone coverage how many great plays do we see from jordan hicks and nigel bradham yeah. on the back end this year and so i thought you know what let's take a look at one play this is Nigel Bradham week two against Chicago he's manned up in coverage pre-snap he yeah. is responsible for the running back but take us through what happens on this well play. what happens on this play because this is actually a man concept so what you see is over here that's Hicks this is the tight end who Hicks initially had and as you said Bradham had the back who then goes away and then he sees the tight end crossing so they cross key this that's what it's called so what Bradham does is now he sees the tight end working that way and he says you know what? now I have the tight end this is just great awareness great understanding of the coverage great just intuitive feel for how to play this. So instead of running all the way across the formation, Bradham will stay here instinctively and will clear it and you'll see what happens. Now, his guy blocks now. The player he's now responsible for blocks. So what happens? He now can sort of drop into what is essentially an underneath zone coverage concept. He's in perfect position to make the interception. That was a great play. That's the kind of thing you see from a Nate Jerry. He has a feel for the game just like that. Yeah, very instinctive yeah. player, very physical player, a safety making that transition to linebacker. It's going to be very interesting to yeah. watch him make that transition through the summer.